Hi guys, and welcome back to Cobra Quick Bites. And today we're going to be taking a look at a unit that you love them or you hate them more so than anything, and that is fighter pilots. And today, unfortunately, I've only got two fighter pilots. I don't have an American fighter pilot just yet. I've only got a German, and I've only got a Soviet. And as you can see, my Soviet here is the name I Am the Flying Cobra, and uh, that is to pay homage to my friend I Am the Flying Cow, who is a awesome, awesome, awesome uh, HNG streamer over on Twitch. Um, and so, well, first things first, pros. Um, just like the paratrooper, fighter pilot can spawn in a couple of main master spawns. But other than that, you have free reign of the sky, my friends. As long as there's, you know, uh, 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 if there's more enemy fighters than what you've got, may I make a suggestion and, and level up your your badges for your squad infantry points so you can at least take an infantry guy so go down to your squad and as you can see here level up these badges you know boom so you've at least got points so that when your soldier does rank up uh, you, you've got points to put in for an infantry uh, never fly alone is another tip I can give you never fly alone let's take a look at badges um, now, fighter pilots get some unique badges that no one else gets. For example, airborne, uh, experienced pilots can go through their pre-fight checklists faster and get their planes into the air faster. Uh, basically, that's just your spawning time. Um, so if you commit suicide and you've got gold, you'll spawn in at a regular speed. Flak jacket. This is a fighter pilot only badge and it only pertains to your plane. It does not pertain to you. So as you can see, you start off at neg 15%, neg 30, and neg 50% damage. Now, if you are a, a, a ace fighter pilot, you are going to take flat jacket, period. There is no ands, ifs, or buts about it. You're going to take flat jacket, period. You're going to take it. Now, as you can see, my guy doesn't even have it unlocked yet. I believe it's, yeah, it's literally the next unlock I'm going to be getting. But um, all it does is reduce the damage your plane takes. Uh, it's, a, it's a mandatory must, kind of similar to a heavy set. Um, but again, as you can see, this fight, th th this fighter pilot is one that was is career locked, so I don't have access to, to things like nimble marathon, heavy set, driver, mechanic, things like that. Um, now, mechanic is another badge you're probably going to want to think about taking, uh, uh, along with bombs away. Now, I would purposely take bombs away, especially if you are a German fighter pilot. Reason why that is is the German planes only get one bomb as where the Americans and the Soviets get multiples. Now, the German bomb is a 500 pounder. It is a big wham, bam, thank you, man. However, the bombs on the Americans, I believe they're only 250 pounders. Uh, uh, so you have to hit a tank flush dead on uh, in order to get the maximum amount of damage. Um, Soviets, I believe they use kilograms on their bombs. And I don't know the exact numbers. You can always uh, look up the uh, HNG Wikipedia about that. Uh, also, because you are using parachutes, you will be getting power training and freefall badge EXP. Uh, now, again, because you are career locked, you really won't be gaining anything uh, um, other than, than uh, uh, just that. You won't get a Felschgeier, for example, if you're a German fighter pilot. Or anything else now uh, what unique weapons do fighter pilots get over anything else nothing uh, pretty much they get no unique weapons there is no unique weapons that a fighter pilot gets he cannot take any kind of bolt action or semi-auto weapon all he can take uh, uh, when I mean by that I mean like the SUD 40 the Gewehr 43 the M1 Garand all he can take is pistols and SMGs um, which I really don't see the point of because he has uh, six points and well, you're going to want to take this bugger. You're going to want to take a wrench to repair your plane. Um, when I fly, my golden rule is not to take damage. So if I see that there's an AA gun firing, I tend to come at it from an angle where it's not firing. Runs the, That way you run less risk of being uh, pilot sniped. You run the less risk of taking your plane taking damage in order for you to land to repair. Now, of course, as you can see, I don't have the wrench on either of my fighter pilots yet. So I try and stay as long, in the, as long as I can in the air, but if there's a veteran fighter pilot with APCR or HE, he's going to wreck me, period. There is no ends of subparts about it. So first things first, I, I, again, I'm gonna be replacing the airborne badge for the flak jacket the moment I get it unlocked. 
simply because that's just the right call to make. As for weapons for when you hit the ground, uh, honestly, I would take a pistol. Now, I do have the first uh, um, Tokarev unlocked, and that is the weapon I will be taking here, uh, um, is a Tokarev in conjunction with my Vulcan Starling and my wrench. Um, and in fact, I may even drop the, the Vulcan Starling just for the Tokarev. Uh, the reason being is because you're going to need a gun to protect, protect yourself if you do, uh, uh, you know, if your plane is shot down. So, again, let's take a look at the plane real quick. It is a Yak-9, which is a late war model variant of the plane. Now, as you can see, I do not have HE, uh, high explosive. Now, a lot of people keep asking me, what is the, as a, again, it's going to be my next unlock. But a lot of people keep asking me, what is the HE good for? Well, if you're good at aiming with the plane, you can easily pilot snipe uh, the pilot with HE blast right out the cockpit. Uh, if you've watched other streamers like Cotton, I'm the Flying Cow, for example, they always fly inverted, i.e. upside down, when they're being shot at by HE, because the HE blast has to get through now the center fuselage of the plane before it can hurt the player. Now, of course, I, of course, I haven't learned that unique ability yet of flying inverted. I'm still new, roughly new to flying, but I do have my APCR ammo, uh, which you can use to wreck planes, light armored tanks, i.e. Um, Stuarts, Chaffees, uh, um, things of that nature, light armored tanks. Medium armor, if you get it from the rear, you have a chance of penetrating, but that's really, really rare. Heavy tanks, don't even think about it. Even if you attack them from above, it's just not going to work. Uh, as you can see on my Germans, I don't even have my APCR yet. Um, I believe, yeah, that's going to be my next series of unlocks. It's going to be uh, a APCR for my Germans. Now, I personally prefer the German plane simply because the way the weapons are mounted. For example, uh, uh, the machine guns are mounted in the nose and the cannons are mounted in the wings, which makes it a lot easier to, to differentiate and get your guns on target. However, the downside is, is that, uh, oh, it's a 250 kilogram bomb, sorry. Uh, but as you can see, the Germans um, only get the one bomb, as where the Yak gets four bombs. So if you want to go uh, uh, support with your your fighter pilot, you'll probably want to look at going, uh, 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 probably look at going uh, Soviet, or or probably look at going uh, Ge uh, uh, German, uh, uh, American. Sorry, as you can see, we'll click on Americans. As you can see, uh, the the lightning here does get. Uh, four, I think it gets three or four bombs. I can't remember offhand. Uh, again, consult the wiki and, and you'll, you'll, it'll tell you exactly how many bombs they get. Now, we've spoken about the badges. Now, we've spoken about the planes. We've spoken about your weapon equipments. Do's and don'ts. Do protect your wingmen. Even if they're not in the same squad as you, even if they're not in the same Discord or, or TeamSpeak or Ventrilo or whatever, even if they're not with you per se, uh, um, yeah, because keeping a friend in the sky, you know, there's enough chance that he's going to see the kind act you've done and try and copy you, i.e. he sees someone on your six and takes you out. Don't try to be cocky and flash and try and, oh, I saw Cal treetop, I saw Cotton fly under the bridge. Uh, you're not Cal, you're not Cotton. Just you be you, stick to what you know, do what you do best, okay? Do try to be supportive. Do try and keep an eye on, on uh, jeeps, APCs, tanks. You know, be very vocal in chat. You know, press enter. Say, you know, jeep spotted near O3. You know, try and be helpful and supportive. Also, if there is paratroopers on on, on the enemy team, take out the paraplanes. Shoot them down. They do count towards a plane kill, which is free EXP for you because that plane can't shoot back at you. Okay. Downside is if you st if you get tunnel vision just on the paraplane, there's an easy chance that an enemy fighter is going to get on your six and you're out of the game. They'll just swat you right out of the sky, and that's not cool. But most importantly, for example, look at the playlist. If you don't see any enemy fighters but paraplanes, hop in your fighter, go at it, go ham, shoot down those paraplanes. Get a couple of para scrapes if you can. Uh, a scrape is where you actually hit a paratrooper whose chute is open and you hit him with your plane. It's basically like running someone over with a jeep, but you're doing it with a plane. Now, there are some streamers, and again, I'm going to keep going back to Cotton Gamer here. He's known for doing what's known as low-level scrapes, where an infantryman's running on the ground, he will fly slow, so low that he will just scrape them like, like a jeep. Now, again, 
I don't suggest you try and do that uh, simply because Carlton has been flying in h &G for quite some time. So's Cal, so's other veterans like IWACSI, uh, things like that. Now, sorry guys, I got a bit of a, 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 an infection, a sinus infection or something. But most importantly, guys, do try and be supportive. Do try and be a wingman. Try be try, always be someone's goose. Okay, don't don't be Iceman. Okay, if you've ever watched Top Gun, you know what I'm talking about. Don't be Iceman. Don't be Val Kilmer. You know, be be Goose. You know, always be Goose. Okay, and, and, and try and and and, and, and and this is a this is a dur moment, but try not to bomb friendlies. If you see an enemy tank being swarmed by friendly infantry, don't bomb it. Save your bomb. Drop it on an enemy jeep or drop it on a, on a capture point. You know, especially if you see a jeep going into a point you own, you know, drop the bomb, boom, you kill the jeep. You know, or you know, worst case scenario, you kill the jeep or you or you miss and you or you wound a few people. Best case scenario, you kill the jeep, you kill them, you save the point, or you kill the jeep. You could have an ammo crate, a Panzerfaust, or even a med kit. Uh, with the current meta, most vehicles are running med kits. So they can't heal now, which makes it easier for your infantry guys to take the point because the defending infantry don't have a med kit to, to heal themselves anymore. Okay, guys? Anyway, that was Cobra Quick Bites on flying. Um, also, I'm going to make another quick point here, another quick editorial thing here. Um, dev controls. A lot of people keep saying, use the dev controls, use the dev controls. Now, in order to activate the dev controls, you have to con hold down your left control key. And that will turn your WASD keys, your W A, your W A S D keys, into the nose pitch up, down, and left rotate left and right. Basically, that your W A S D lets you control the plane now, not your mouse. Okay, so get to grips. Now, fortunately, there isn't any tutorials uh, in H and G on how to fly yet. Keyword yet. You know, citation needed. Uh, it is rumored that they are going. They are going to be adding in. Uh, a, a an area where you can practice flying and get used to it and things like that. Uh, also, don't be afraid to ask other pilots for tips and tricks. For example, like, um, I, I'm, I suck at bombing. Can you give me any tips? Oh, okay. What plane are you flying? Oh, I'm flying, flying the P3. Like I said, be be very vocal on the, on the Reddit, the Wikipedia, the, the h and forums. Um, you know, always be vocal, ask questions, learn, 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 learn. Until then, guys, I'm going to end this video here with a stay safe, have fun, keep your shows flying, keep your bombs flying, your Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you sexy pictures in the next Cobra Quick Bites, my friends.